in search of something good to read. USA Today's Barbara Vandenborough scopes out the shelves for this week's hottest new book releases. 1. One Life, by Megan Rapino, Penguin Press, Nonfiction, on sale November 10. What It's About, The Olympic Gold Medalist and 2. Time Women's World Cup champion is also an activist icon and tireless fighter for LGBTQ rights. She shares her story, and in so doing urges readers to stand up for justice and equality. The buzz, Ripino's passion for inclusion and equality shines throughout this appealing book, and her heart, one take on the intersection of sports and activism isn't to be missed, says Publishers Weekly. 2. The Office of Historical Corrections, by Danielle Evans, Riverhead, Fiction, on sale November 10, what it's about, the award-winning author of Before You Suffocate Your Own Fool Self releases a hotly anticipated new story collection, exploring the subjects of race, American history and grief with her signature insight. The Buzz, A, out of 4, review for USA Today calls the new collection so smart and self, assured it's certain to thrust her into the top tier of American short story writers. 3. We Keep the Dead Close, by Becky Cooper. Grand Central, Nonfiction, on sale November 10, what it's about, in 1969. 23-year-old Harvard graduate student Jane Britton was found bludging to death in her Cambridge, Massachusetts, apartment in a murder that long went unsolved. This true, crime opus keeps the victim centered, reflecting on a young life lost. The Buzz, a half-review for USA Today calls it an engrossing, monumental work. 4. The Arrest, by Jonathan Lethem. Echo, Fiction, on sale November 10, What It's About, the author of Motherless Brooklyn and the Fortress of Solitude turns post-apocalyptic, imagining a world in which television, computers, airplanes and all the modern conveniences we take for granted are wiped out by a major disaster called the arrest. The buzz, as a writer gifted at playing with genre forms and riffing on popular culture, Lethem, enjoys tweaking dystopian, novel conventions, says a review for USA Today. 5. First Principles, What America's Founders Learned from the Greeks and Romans and How That Shaped Our Country, by Thomas C. Ricks, Harper, Nonfiction, on sale November 10, What It's About, Ricks seeks to answer the questions, what kind of nation do we have now? Is this what was designed or intended by the nation's founders? The Buzz, Ricks masterfully documents how examples of city-states like Athens and the Roman Republic, before Julius Caesar crossed the Rubicon, informed the founding fathers and their fellow travelers, says a review for USA Today.